you gotta understand. Nobody, you ain't gonna find this 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 information nowhere else out here. This information that you get in the tape, you're not gonna find it nowhere else out here. Why? Because these are the last days, brother. Right. Right. God has raised up us to teach our people. Right. This is happening all over the earth right now. Right. You're just seeing it here in Columbia. This is happening all over the earth. Pay attention to what's going on. I want uh, wars and rumors of wars. What's going on right now in this country? Huh? Destruction. Destruction, but what is taking place today? What happened? Oh. What is the significant, a uh, significant thing okay. recorded in this Bible that has happened this week? Huh? No. I read the president of this country, or this country, has shot and killed the general of Iran. Do you understand what's about to happen? Bring it out. Do you understand that war is about to take place? That they're sending 3,500 troops yesterday to Iran because the American government shot and killed the Iranian general. Right. right. Do you know what's going to happen to this country? Bring it out. Y'all have to be aware of what's going on in this world. Bring it, it out. Lines up with this Bible. Right. Like that. Bring. Matthew chapter 24 verse 3. Bring, Bring it out. out. And, he, and as he sat upon the Mount of Olives, the disciples came unto him proud, Say, tell us, when shall these things be? And what shall be the sign of the coming and the end of the world? Because our forefathers, the apostles, knew the promise that Christ gave us. That he will come back and redeem the children of Israel. Right. Them that are keeping the commandments. So the prophets want to know, what is the sign? What is the sign of the coming of Christ? What is the sign that you're coming back to redeem us? Read. And Jesus answered and said unto so them. Hey, let me answer what he said. Take heed that no man deceive me. Come on. For many shall come in my name saying, I am Christ. So many have come in our Messiah's name saying that they are Christ. This is not Christ. Right. Right. This is not Christ. This Let is Samuel Mosiah, the biggest imposter on the planet Earth. Right. Right. Read. And shall deceive many. He's deceived many into thinking that this is Christ. Come on. And ye shall hear war of wars. Come on. And rumors of wars. So he said that ye shall hear what? And ye shall hear of war. You're going to hear of wars. Come on. And rumors of war. You better pay attention. Rumors of wars. We're hearing of wars right now. War is about to take place right now because the Iranian government says that they will respond. Right. They will respond to the killing of their general by American government. They right. will respond. Where will you be at when this country that has nuclear power shoots a missile over here? Yeah. Where will you be at when the destruction that is recorded in this Bible starts taking place on the earth? Right. Right. Where will you be? Bring will you be found keeping God's laws as an Israelite? Bring it out. Or will you be found in sin of enjoying the pleasures of this world? Right. Enjoying the media, just the Facebook, the Snapchat, the Instagram. Will you be found sleeping when it comes to God's word when this country goes to war in these last days? Right. Yeah. Because these are the last days prophesied here on the earth. Right. Right again. Matthew chapter 24 verse 6. Bring it out. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of war. We're hearing about wars and rumors of war right now. World War III is about to take place right here in America. But right. our people are still asleep to who they are. Right. These pastors have put you to sleep with their farewell doctrine. What's it called? Their prosperity doctrine. Right. They put our people to sleep with, you're going to get a brand new car. You're going to receive $1,000. Right. Just give what you got today. Our people are asleep to what's taking place on this earth, and destruction is coming. Read. Read. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. Uh -huh. But the end is not yet, for nation shall rise against nation. The Bible says that nation shall rise against nation. Iran against America, come on. And kingdom against kingdom. And kingdom against kingdom, come on. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. Come on. All these are the beginning of sorrow. He says these are the beginning of sorrow. Why? Because when the nukes hit this place, what you gonna do? What can you do when nuclear warfare takes place on this earth? Give me second Ezra uh, 13, uh, 29. Give me second Ezra 13, 28, 29 up, something like that. What are we gonna do? 
Where you gonna run when a, when a missile is shot and nuclear warfare has been declared on earth? All of that is recorded right here in the Bible. Is that what I want? 13, read that. Second Andrews, chapter 13, verse 29. Read it out. Behold, the days come. It says, behold, the days come. We've been here in this country for how long? We've been out of captivity for how long? Read. When the Most High will begin to deliver them that are from the earth. It says the days come when the Most High is going to begin to deliver them that are on the earth. Guess what? Today is your day to remember so that you can be delivered. Right. Today is your day for you to bethink yourselves for all the sins that you've committed, all the evil that you've done on this earth. And it's time to line back up with what God says because he's in the midst of delivering the children of Israel. That's right. 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 And he shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. He shall come to the astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. What's being spoken of here? What's being spoken of? The astonishment of them that dwell on the earth. We've been in a, get that in Deuteronomy. Go ahead, Deuteronomy. Go ahead, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that, hold that. Read on, we'll go back to Deuteronomy. And one shall undertake to fight against another. It says that one is gonna take, is gonna undertake to fight against another. America shot and killed the Iranian general. Iranian generals now says, we're gonna strike right back at America. Keep in mind, this is one of the top five countries that can do cyber warfare. Bring it out. They, they have the ability to do cyber warfare here in this country. Right, right, read. One city against another, uh -huh. one place against another, Come on. one people against another, Read. and one realm against another. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sign shall happen when I, when happen, which I shall be before, and then shall my son be declared. And then who? Shall my son be declared. Let's remember, we just read back over in, in, in uh, what? What was that, Matthew? Matthew? We just read over in Matthew, the apostles wanted a sign. What did that say? And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass. He says, and the time shall be when these things come to pass, these things, the earth, the kingdom rising against kingdom, nation rising against nation, when these things are declared. And the sign shall happen which I showed thee before. Come on. And then shall my son be declared. Then Christ is going to be declared. Why? Because now is the return of the Messiah to redeem the children of Israel. Right. That's Read. right. Who thou sawest as a man ascending. Uh-huh. It says, who thou saw as a man ascending. When did they see a man ascending? When Christ died? What is that? Uh, Get, get, get that get that real quick so that it all lines up when did they see a man ascending because Christ said the angel said unto the apostles likewise likewise how you see him left you're gonna see him come back right, right. So how you see him ascend now you're gonna see him descend to right. redeem the children of Israel you got it? Right. Right. chapter 1 verse 11 bring it up which also said ye men of Galilee what stand ye gazing up into heaven? So this is after Christ's death that he's being resurrected. He, he said, why are you standing here gazing up into heaven? Come on. This same Jesus. The same Jesus who walked the earth as a man. Come on. Which is taken up from you into heaven. Which is what? Taken up in the Apocrypha. It says ascending. The same man that is ascending up into heaven. Shall so go in like manner. He's going to come back the same way he left. Come on. As ye have seen him go into heaven. Just like you see them go into heaven, this time he's going to come back the same way. Right. Except that's he's right. coming with angels and fire to that's destroy right. this earth. Right. Let's go. Second address, chapter 13, verse 32. Come on. Bring it out. And the time shall be when these things shall come to pass, and the sun shall happen, which I showed thee before. And then shall my son be declared, whom thou sawest as a man whom, ascending. Whom thou saw as a man ascending in the book of Acts. You saw him ascending to heaven. Come on. And when all the people hear his voice, uh -huh. every man shall in their own land leave the battle. They have won against another. What is this talking about? If this country was to break out in war right now with Iran, they're going to be fighting each other. Other countries are going to get involved. But when they see that sky crack, and you see that black Jesus coming from that sky, they're gonna to come together to fight against Christ. Right, right. And an innumerable multitude shall be gathered together. And an innumerable multitude is gonna be gathered together. Who is that? 
Who is this innumerable multitude? Read. As thou sawest them, willing to come and to overcome him by fight, but he shall stand up on the top of the Mount Zion. So this multitude, they're they gonna come together. Iran, China, it don't matter. All these nations, they're gonna come together to try to fight against Christ. Come on. And Zion shall come and shall be shown to all men, but be prepared and build it like as thou sawest the hill graven without hands. So we gotta understand, destruction of this country, destruction of this earth is recorded right here in the Bible. Let's get Isaiah uh, 40, 54, 16. Bring it out. Isaiah 54, 16. You gotta understand, why do you think these nuclear warheads exist? Why do you think nuclear power exists and everybody has arrows pointing at each other? Bring it everybody got missiles pointing at each other. Bring it up. Why? Because they know the prophecies of this Bible is real. Right. What you got? Isaiah chapter 54 verse 16. This is the book of Isaiah 54 verse 16. Come on. Behold, I have created the smith that blow up the coals in the fire. What is a smith? A smith is a, is a, a smith that blow up the coals in the fire. This is somebody that's making something. Come on. Let's find out what he makes. And that bring it forth an instrument for his work. So this smith is bringing forth a, a particular type of instrument. Come on. And I have created the waster. The waster? He's creating a waster. Come on. To destroy. What has the potential to destroy the earth? Bring it out. A hand grenade? Does a hand grenade have the potential to destroy the earth? Bring it out. Bring it out. What about, uh, what's another bad example? What about machine guns? Can machine guns destroy the earth? What about nuclear warfare? Bring it out. What about nuclear warfare? Could that destroy the earth? They have a, they have a nuke. Russia has a nuke called the Satan. He has a nuke called the Satan. When you shoot it, it's one arrow that's shot. Yeah. But when it gets close enough to its destination, it branches off and makes three more arrows. What yeah. are these arrows? Why, why, why is this tactic set up like that? Because they know America is going to try to try to stop them. But if America sends their target on one of these objects that are about to enter the atmosphere of America, they have three more objects, arrows, that the Bible describes them, about to destroy and hit their target. Right, right. 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 Read that. Second Peter, chapter three, verse nine. Come on. Yeah. The Lord is not slack concerning his promise. It says the, the Lord of this Bible, the Lord God of Israel, he is not slack concerning his promise. He promised you that if you broke those commandments, you was going into captivity. Did that happen? Did we go into captivity? God promised us if we broke the commandments, he was going to put those behind in slavery. Did that happen? But guess what? God promises us in these last days. Once we wake up and come back to who we are, He's gonna redeem us and give us back the kingdom of the kingdom of heaven. Hey, 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 hey. Rulership and power on this earth. Read. As some men count slack. Some men count it slack. Come on. But it's long suffering to us come on. not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. So it's not the will of the most high that none of you Israelites should perish. It is not God's will that any of his chosen people should perish, but you have been given a choice. Right. This day, you have the choice to learn from this Bible, learn from men who have understanding of these scriptures, repent and start keeping the commandments. Right. And that right. is your choice. Read. But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. It says the day of the Most High God is going to come as a thief in the night. When a thief is coming to your house, to rob and steal from you. Do you know it? Yeah, no. He don't plot it on you. He know when you moving in. He know when you leaving out. He know when you sleeping. A real thief, a real burglar, you cannot calculate when he is coming. Right. The Bible says that Christ is gonna come as a thief in the night. Right. In the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. It says in the which the heavens, who, what is the heavens? Is it talking about the heavens up there? What is the Bible talking about when it says the heavens shall what? Shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! That's what the Bible is talking about. The go. Bible says that the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Boom! That is the sound of a bomb. Where, are, where are these bombs coming from? They're coming from Russia. They're right. coming from Iran. That's where they're coming from. They're coming from Korea. Read. Read. And the elements 
shall melt with fervent heat. The elements, you see all this right here? Everything that you see standing before you today will melt with fervent heat. Right. 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 Including you, if you do not repent. Bring right. it up. Right. The earth also and the works that are therein shall be burned up. Say what? The earth also and the works that are therein. It says the earth also and the works that are therein. When you look around you, these are the works on the earth. Right. Somebody had to put some work in to build this building. Right. Somebody put some work in to build the, the, the Twin Towers, right. the Pentagon. Right. The works on the earth are also talking about your evil deeds. Your evil deeds are works against what God says we must do. Right, right. right. Read. Shall be burned up. All of that garbage is going to be destroyed. Come on. See then that all these things shall be dissolved. What men of person ought ye to be? The Bible says, now seeing this, hearing this today, uh, Stefan, hearing this today, brothers and sisters, knowing that you see your country about to go to war with Iran, knowing that you have been lied to, murdered, raped, robbed, drunk through the mud here in this country, knowing that today we're telling you that you're the children of Israel, knowing these things says what? What manner of person ought ye to be? What manner of person are you to be? Right. What manner of person are you to be? Are you to continue in the ways that you've been taught by America? Or do you now find out what the Bible says so that you can learn how to be the right creature in the eyes of God? Right, right. 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 In all holy conversation and God. Your conversation should be holy. It is a holy thing for us standing here in purple to know that this country and our oppressors are going to be destroyed. Right. 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 This country and all of the works that these people have done against the children of Israel is coming to an end. Right. Right. It is right. high time you wake up. Come on. Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. Do what? Looking for and hasting unto the coming of the day of God. That's why you see us out here screaming this Bible to you. We look forward and haste to the day that God, the Christ, Black Messiah, comes to redeem us. Right. That's right. right. This is the promise that we've been given. Read. Wherein the heavens, being on fire, shall be dissolved. What? The heavens. The what? Heaven. Now, when it says the heavens, is it talking about beyond these old beautiful uh, white clouds up here? Is it talking about beyond this beautiful blue sky that I'm looking up at? Are these heavens gonna be on fire? Are these the heavens that are gonna be on fire, people I'm asking? You said no. Give me Matthews 11 and 12, hold that. Give me Matthews 11 and 12. Bring it up. Bring it up. What'd you say, sister? Let's find out what, let's find out what the heaven is. Matthew chapter 11 verse 12. Bring it up. up. And from the days of John, it the Baptist. From the days of John the Baptist. Until now. Until right now, today, 2020, come on. The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. It says the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. So does that mean that you got people getting on a ladder, going up there fighting against uh, God and the angels? That what that mean? What is it talking about? The kingdom of heaven suffered violence. Let's find out, read. And the violent take it by force. It says, and the violent take the kingdom of heaven by force. Bring it now up. let's read it from the top again with some more understanding. Matthew chapter 11, verse 12. Come Bring on. It up. And from the days of John the Baptist. Where did John the Baptist dwell? Did he dwell beyond the sun, moon, and stars? John the Baptist dwelt where? On the earth. That's why you got a whole bunch of imposter churches right here called uh, uh, Baptists. Bring it up. Baptists, but they ain't teaching nobody that this earth is coming to an end. Right. That destruction is coming on this earth. Right. Why they ain't baptizing nobody with that information? Right. No. So John the Baptist dwelt where? On the earth. So it says, from the days of John the Baptist until now. Until right now, the kingdom of heaven. John dwelt on the earth. So in this instance, the kingdom of heaven is making reference to what? The earth, sister. The earth. Why? Because the earth was given to the children of Israel as their kingdom of heaven to rule it. That's why you say in your prayer, I'm going to show you to say your prayer in a minute. Finish that. Until yeah. now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence, and the violent take it by force. It says the violent take the kingdom of heaven, which is the earth, they take it by force. What is it talking about? Talking about this country when the so-called white man 
came here, stole this country from our brothers, the so-called Indians. Right. Talking about all of the countries that the so-called white man has went to and took by violence. The right. Crusaders, they went around and baptized you with this white image of Jesus Christ. Bring it out. You. Either you be a Christian or you're going to die. Bring Bring it out. That is what is happening. The kingdom of heaven is making reference to the earth. Go back over there where we was at. Read Second it. Peter, chapter 3, verse 12. Bring Bring it out. Out. Looking for and hastening unto the coming of the day of God. So we're looking forward to the day of low side God. Come on. We're in the heavens. We're in the heavens, the earth. Remember that. The heavens is talking about the earth. We're in the heavens, come on. Being on fire. Being what? On fire. How are these heavens going to get on fire? How are these heavens going to get on fire? Yeah. Nuclear warfare. Right. right. Nuclear warfare. Come on. Shall be dissolved. It's going to be dissolved, meaning destroyed. Come on. And the elements shall melt with fervent heat. And all of the elements that you see, they're going to melt with fervent heat. Trust me, a lighter ain't got nothing on what them nukes going to bring. Right. Yeah. When them nukes hit, it's going to suck up all the oxygen that's in the air. <laughs> it's going to suck up all of the oxygen that's in the air. I don't y'all hear me. Y'all look at me like I got two heads. When them nuclear war, when them nuclear war heads hit, all of the oxygen around you is going to it's going to suck up. What that mean for you? You can't breathe, God darn it! You can't breathe. You can't run. You can't breathe. You can't hide. You can't breathe. Right. The only thing that you're going to want to do is breathe. Where will you be? Where will you be? Breathe. Get out. Verse 13. Nevertheless, we, according to His promise, look for new. Heaven. You see these brothers around you? You see these brothers around you standing in purple? We are here because we love our people. Right? Right. 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 That's what? Nevertheless, we, according to his promise. We, according to the promise given to our forefathers, Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, we, look what? Look for a new heaven. We're going to look for a new heaven. When and this earth is destroyed, we're looking for a new earth. Come on. And a new earth. And a new earth. Come on. Wherein dwelleth righteousness. Wherein dwelleth nothing but righteousness. No longer will we see our sisters walking around half dressed. No longer will we see our brothers walking around thinking they black, thinking they African American, Negro. You gonna know your nationality in that day. But right. when you see what's about to take place here on this earth, you are gonna know that you are the only ones that have a God. Right. right. Get that in Joel. They don't believe it. They don't believe it. They don't believe you. You're the only one that got. Can't nobody else be saved from what's about to happen except you, 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 us. Bring nobody else can be saved from that, bro. But come on. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. He said, you're going to know. When you see the destruction taking place on this earth, when you see them nuclear warheads hit this earth, and you see the chariots come back, and people being beamed up, those that keep the commandments of God, read it again. And ye shall know. Then ye shall know. That I am in the midst of Israel. That the Lord God, he's in the midst of Israel. That's Lord, right. And that I'm the Lord, your God. And that he's the Lord, your God. And none else. And what? None else. And nobody else. That's how special you are, King. That's how special you are, God. Bring it up. That is who you are. Teach. You must remember this. Get that in first Kings. You must remember this. Not knowing this, you are the enemy of your own destruction. Right. Not following these commandments, you are the enemy of Christ. And you love what this country has given you. Right, right. Do you love what this country has given you? This country ain't gave you nothing. Right. Right. Nothing. Right. Right now to this day, we got to go fill out an application to get a freaking job when God gave us the whole earth to rule. Right. right. So what, what can they give you? What can they give you? They can't give you nothing that God has already given you. Right. right. God gave you ownership. He gave you rulership. Right. But do you want it back? Right. Do you want it back? I can't hear you, brother. Right. Do you want it back? So what must you do? You must come and start keeping the commandments of God. Right. 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 First Kings, chapter 8, verse 46. Read out. If they sin against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. God said, so, this is Solomon, right? This is Solomon sending a prayer to the Most High. He said, if they sin against you, 
for there is no man that sinneth not. Come on. And thou be angry with them. And if you be angry with them, Lord, come on. And deliver them to the enemy. And deliver them to the enemy. You've been delivered to the enemy. You know? Whether you want to accept it or not, you've already been delivered to the enemy. Right. right. Just because you don't see this taking place no more, don't mean it don't exist. Right. right. I'm going to show right. you how, how it exists. Come here, brother. You, come here. I'm going to show you that this still exists. This exists right now. What's your nationality? What did you say? He says black. What color is this? Are you black? Look at your skin. Look at your hand. What color is this? What color is this? Are you black? No, you're not. The slavery is not a physical thing anymore. The slavery is now mental. Hey, hey, hey. We think we're black. We think we're African American. Bring it up. Why? Because that's what our little pretty little, little uh, prestigious schools teach us. They have to be right because they've been given to us by the white man. Bring it up. He is a damn liar. That's that's right. You are not black. You are an Israelite from the tribe of Judah. That's, right. that's who you are. That means you have power with the Most High God. Hey, hey, hey. All right. Read. If they sit against thee, for there is no man that sinneth not. There ain't no man that sin. We all sin. We all come from a life of sinners. That's right. Drug dealers, murderers, Bring it out. liars, womanizers. We all come from this lifestyle. Right. Right. We heard the word of God and we changed our lives. That's right. 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 Thou be angry with them and deliver them to the enemy. And you have already been delivered to the enemy. Come on. So that they carry them away captives unto the land of the enemy. Far or near. You have been carried away captive. Far away from your homeland. Come on. Yet, if they shall be think themselves. What did God say? Yet, if they shall be think themselves. What does it mean to be think? If I said, be think what you did yesterday. Be think what you did yesterday. What am I saying? Be think. Be think what you did yesterday. The Bible is written in a specific type of way. We got to learn what these words mean. Remember. It means remember, sister. You know? The Bible says what? Yet, if they shall be faith themselves. Yet, if you shall remember yourself. Come on. In the land, whether they were carried captive. In the land where your forefathers and you standing right now were carried captive. Come on. And repent. And do what? And repent. And do what? And repent. And repent. Turn away from your evil ways. Right. right. Turn away from your evil ways. You smoke weed? Turn right. away from it. Bring it out. You got a girlfriend? Get married. Turn away from it. You got you ain't got no fringes on your clothes? Learn the source of fringes on your clothes. Yeah. You can grow a beard, grow a beard. Turn yeah. away from saving. Right. Turn away from what this country's giving us. You celebrate Christmas? Turn away from it. You yeah. celebrate Thanksgiving? Turn away from it. Bring it out. You celebrate the, all the holidays that this country is giving you? Turn away from it. Right. 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 And make supplication unto and thee. And make supplication. Pray earnestly to the most high God. Right. With your God. Come on. In the land of them that carried them captive. In this land of them that carried your forefathers captive. That have you captured today. Come on. Say. Say what? We have sinned. We have sinned. That's right. We have sinned. Right. We have sinned. Come on. And have done perverse. We have done perverse things in the sight of you, God. Read. We have committed wickedness. We have committed wickedness. Why right. is it? Why is it saying we? Why is it saying I? Bring it up. Why is it saying we? Bring it up. Why is it saying we and not I? Teach. Because we broke God's commandments. Right. right. Not an I. You probably did your own individual thing. You probably did your own individual thing. We all did our own individual things, but guess what? We all doing our individual things broke God's commandments. Right. right. Read it again. Right. We we have sinned and have done perversion. Come on. We have committed wickedness, and so return unto thee with all their heart and with all their soul. The Bible says you have to return unto God with all of your. This ain't some. With all their heart and with all their it soul. With all your heart and all your, did it say one third? With all their heart and with all their soul. Meaning, you can't say, okay, uh, I'm gonna grow the beard, right? But I'm gonna just, I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a little gold teeth because I like the little line. You can't do that. It says with all your heart. You gotta let that thing grow, line it up real nice. Look at the officer right there. Look at that big beard he got. Lined up, sharp, looking like a man. Right. 
looking like a man. That's what you gotta do. When you grow up, don't let nobody tell you you gotta shave your face. Come on. In the land of their enemies, which led them away captive. It says in the land of your, did it say the land of your friends? In the land of their enemies. Now, we think that the people that led us here, somehow, after all these years, they are right. What the hell? Bring it out. They forefathers drugged your ass all the way from another land, put you on, they did this to you. Bring it out. They put you on the bottom of a ship, shackled together, peeing on each other, defecating on, on each other. They have children, and all of a sudden, we think they are friends. Bring it out. In 2020, they are right now. They ain't the damn devil the Bible speak of no more. That is a lie. They right. are the damn devil until they are done under that thousand years under Christ and they don't right. exist no more. Right. 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 Which led them away captive. Come on. And pray unto thee toward their land. Where's your land? Come on now. Indies. Huh? West Indies. No. Where, where is your land, brother? You been standing up too long. Uh, Think. I want you to go all the way back to when the sister was standing right here and we was talking about the motherland and we learned that the motherland is in the northern part of the continent. Jerusalem is your mother. You got This is why it's important to learn these things. Because if you walk away from here today, after standing here for an hour and a half, and you walk away from here, give me that in Nehemiah 8. 8 and 8? If you walk away from here today, hearing the word of God, bro, Lord have mercy on your soul. Right. Because you will not in that day be able to tell the most high you didn't know. There right. is not going to be no more excuse for you, 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 or you. I'm letting you all know right now to this day, you are the children of Israel. You must repent and keep God's commandments. That's right. 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 Nehemiah chapter 8 verse 8. Bring it out. So oh. they read in the book, in the law of God distinctly and gave the sense. We done gave you the sense. What's your nationality? Judah, that's right, brother. That's you right, are not right. black. You are, if you, 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 to call you a black man or African American man from this day forward, you should take that as a freaking insult. Right. That's they right. are insulting your intelligence. Right. right. They are insulting you as a man because they know that you don't know that you are a royal priesthood, that you are God on this earth. Right. You right. Accept anything other than being from the tribe of Judah, moving forward, tribe of Benjamin. You the only Benjamin out here. But that's good. <laughs> For you to accept anything outside of that, bro, you don't get you, you haven't took this to heart. It ain't hit home yet. You know when it's gonna take home when it's gonna hit home? You see them damn chariots come back and you see brothers get beamed up. Give me the give me one more scripture. Uh I want, I want their eyes gonna waste away their whole And then give me another song. And then give me another song. About that. Read. Zechariah chapter 14 verse 12. Come on, yeah. up. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people. You don't want this to happen to you. If you don't want this to happen to you, you better take heed right now. Read. That I fought against Jerusalem. Uh -huh. The flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. When them nukes hit this place right here, it says what? The flesh. Your flesh. Shall your, cons your skin, come on. Shall consume away. While they stand up on their feet. You're going to be standing up right here. The, a nuke going to hit, and your flesh is going to melt off your skin, off of your body. Read. And their eyes. And your eyes. These two little eyes right here, come on. Shall consume away in their holes. They're going to they, they, they burn out. Read. And their tongue. And your tongue. Shall consume away in their mouth. There ain't going to be no screaming. Come on. And it shall come to pass in the day that a great tumult from the from the Lord shall be among them, and they shall lay hold every one on the hand of his neighbor, and his hand shall rise up against the hand of his neighbor. So, in that day, when that when you hear boom, don't, that's what most people are gonna say. They're gonna be looking for a flyer. Where them brothers at? They had them flyers. You seen them brothers? Ain't gonna be none of that, bro. You got a chance right now. You got a flyer right now. Don't let what we're saying Go in one ear and out the other. Get that in songs. Many people do that. Many people toss this law behind their back. They toss these, these, these scriptures behind their back. Bring it up. They listen for three, four hours. And then they just walk away. Continuing in their sin. Read. Yes, sir. So, chapter 119, verse 
59. Bring it out. I don't on my way. It's time to think on your ways. What's your name? Xavier. What's your name? DeAndre and Stefan. It's time for you to think on your ways. Come on. And turn my feet unto the testimony. And turn your feet into the testimonies of God. Come on. I made haste. And do what? Made haste. You gotta make haste to do this. Why? Because you see what's going on. You're getting shot down in the street. You can't get a job. Mama going through it, daddy going through it, uncle going, everybody going through it. Am I lying? Right. Am I out. lying? Oh. Am I lying? Oh. We're at the lowest of the low. But Christ promises you rulership. Right. It's time right. for you to make haste. Come on. And delay not. And don't delay. To keep the commandments. To keep the commandments of God. Right. Do not delay to keep the commandments of God. To scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, Nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road. Purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana. Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how we're men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.